Hey guys, this is Tricker. We're going to do a quick tutorial here on taxi and takeoff in the F5E. It's going to be a quick flight from Nellis to Boulder City. And if you haven't seen my last tutorial on startup, I recommend you watch that one first. I just wanted to point one thing out is the auto balancing. It does need to be in the middle position for takeoff. So I appreciate someone for pointing that out to me. The external tanks also need to be in the off position. It says in the book, external fuel sequencing, note during ground operation, it is not recommended to transfer fuel from the external tanks when fuel quantity in the left fuel system is 1,700 pounds or more, or the right system is 2,300 pounds or more. As you can see, we do have more than that. So we're gonna leave the external tanks off in the auto balance in the middle position. So I do appreciate that whoever brought that up because that is important and it's on page 94 in the manual if you want to read about it. So we are set to taxi so the first thing we're going to do is turn on the beacon light which is right here goes to the up position. We're going to turn on the nav light so you can either scroll with the mouse wheel or left click and hold and bring it to the right which is easier. Next we're going to turn on the landing light and taxi light which is right here. But just note that it won't turn on unless you have the nav lights on. So we are set for taxi. We'll go ahead and run it up here. But before we're running out, we'll go ahead and do a quick brake check, which is good. So we'll go ahead and run it back up again, and we'll go, set, go ahead and talk about uh, nose wheel steering. So nose wheel steering is just like any other aircraft. You need to press and hold the nose wheel steering button, which is the S key, Sierra key, by default. I do have that mapped to my joystick, or my HOTAS. I recommend you do that as well if you have a HOTAS. Makes it a lot easier. And once you get straight on a center line, you can go ahead and disengage nose wheel steering as it's not needed anymore. So you can go ahead and let go of the button on your HOTAS and do more important things like try not to hit other aircraft on multiplayer servers. So right now we're just taxiing straight on the center line. We're gonna go to the holding pad here in just a moment. I'm not using the nose wheel steering button at the moment. But uh, we're going to make a right turn right up here into the holding pad. So I'll go ahead and press the nose wheel steering button and start my right turn with the right rudder. So as we're straightened out now, I'm going to go ahead and disengage nose wheel steering. And I'm going to go ahead and bring the aircraft to a stop so we can do the takeoff flow. All right, so to go through the takeoff flow real quick, make sure the lights are on, nav lights are on, beacons on, landing light and taxi lights on, pedo heat's on, NG any ice is as required, we're not gonna use it today. I'm gonna check the master caution panel, we don't have any, so we're gonna go ahead and clear it. So next we're gonna go to the nose strut switch, which is right here. That's why we set the attitude and the standby attitude to negative three, so when we put it up to position, you can see we're starting to raise the nose wheel strut, it goes up three degrees, so now we're at a level attitude. So just a quick brief, we're just going to go over and make sure we have the uh, pitch trim set, which is right here, it's at seven, and that's for two sidewinders, a center line tank, and ammo. And our rotation speed is going to be 154 knots. So we're going to come down and put 12 x-ray into the tack hand here. In case we need a return, we can turn it on and it can give us bearing and distance. So the left knob does the tens, the right knob does the ones. So as you can see right here, the left knob here, if I move it, it does the tens. This one does the ones. So if you uh, left or right click on this knob, it does the bands, Yankee and X-ray. And if you scroll on the knob, it does the ones. So I put 12 X-ray in there, as you can see. And I'll turn that on if we have any problems. It'll give me bearing and distance back to uh, Nellis. So we're going to go ahead and taxi out here and make sure we request takeoff from the tower. Which there's no air traffic, so we are uh, been cleared for takeoff. So we're going to go ahead and line up here. And if you're curious where I got the numbers for takeoff and the pitch trim, they're in the book. Just look up the performance tables for takeoff. And so we're going to go ahead and line up here. Use the nose wheel steering to line up. And a quick tip is to just line up the aircraft on the uh, runway here. I'm going to go ahead and disengage nose wheel steering and let it roll for a few feet. And the reason I do this is so that way I know that I'm straight and I do not have to use the nose wheel steering while I apply takeoff power. Usually you see on multiplayer servers people taking off and they go all over the runway. And that's usually because they didn't have a straight nose wheel. 
So going over the takeoff procedure here, we're gonna hold the brakes, bring it up to 90% power, which is right here, 90%. We're gonna go ahead and release brakes and full power. And you should get afterburners within five seconds. There they are, you can see they're kicking in right now. So we're gonna maintain center line here with the rudder. Remember not to use the nose wheel steering. And we're looking for 154 knots. And there it is now. We're going to pull gently on the stick. We have a positive rate of climb. We're going to go ahead and put gear up. And as we start accelerating, the flaps are going to start retracting automatically. So the aircraft's going to naturally tend to pitch high. So what you're going to want to do is put in nose down trim to counteract the flaps retracting. So looking over the book for the climb, it does tell you that they recommend not climbing less than 300 knots. So we're just passing 300 knots. And we're going to go over the after takeoff checklist as landing gear is up, fuel auto balance and external tank. So we're below 1700 on the left and 2300 on the right. So we can go ahead and enable the center line tank with this switch right here. And radar is standby or operate. So we're just gonna leave it in the standby. And the last thing is engine anti-ice as required. So we're gonna leave it off. So I hope you guys like this video. This pretty much wraps up the taxi and takeoff tutorial on the F5E. As you can see, it's pretty simple. And as always, if you have any questions or comments, please let me know. Thank you.